I don't know what your timing is. That's right. It's a it's a long. Oh, no. <laughs> always try to save those extra envelopes for those last minute editions. Mm. And she said, oh my god, I got a letter from the 18th century in the mail today. So that was sort of... A hundred artists developed the building. We all knew each other before we even moved in. And we're a very strong, cozy community because of that, I think. Uh, we also are off the beaten path. We don't have, there's no building next door with another hundred artists. Uh, we're, we're sort of surrounded by railroad tracks and industry, so we're a little island, which is kind of fun and kind of lonely at the same time. At my death, make you roll, think, um... So I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do is work my studio into Jamaica Plain, which was not going to work. Since adjunct in many places, including the Institute of Contemporary Art and various locales, and I just thought I have to have my studio where I live. And so um, I was a Somerville resident when this physical into a low relief. And, um, and you know, I try to convey that feeling. In, in the I have some great friends here. If I have technical problems, which sometimes I do, I, you know, there's always someone who can lend me the tool, give me the answer. Just two seconds, I need your time. Two seconds, can you come up and just, you know, can I catch you and just to ask you a question? And it's been, and I've been recommended also. I mean, I think a lot, think, a lot of things happen for artists through referrals and or people bumping into one studio and coming into another. I don't like to in indicate that they're, they're never not straight when they're here. I guess artist communities create a liveliness. They have a kind of internal engine. And when you're in an artist community, you kind of feel the buzz. You feel that it's more than the sum of its parts. It's not an apartment building with a gallery attached to it, or courtyards, or a parking lot. It's people who come together who are like-minded, who share a spirit and a soul, and a commitment to being a part of the art community. And I think that's really what makes artist communities really special. Here's the back. Let's see. And the next step is to build these two wings in stainless steel and attach them. And the fact that I've, I've gone from jewelry to this sculpture is it's a direct result of my being here. Um, Different artists influence everything. Um, I got my first job through someone here, um, Obi down the way. He's been in the sculptor, uh, Brick Bottom, for a long time, and I learned things from him. So um, this building has been invaluable, um, and the community is great. Um, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if I wasn't here, I'm sure of it. So fill in several voids that I've missed.
it looks like chaos here, and well, frankly, it is chaos. <laughs> I just have to manage it to the point where I'm not tripping over things. But there are many different steps. I have, you know, metal comes in, it comes in in sheets, really heavy sheets or long 20-foot lengths, um, and then I stack that all up, and then um, I have to cut it, so I have chopping tools and, and band saws and plasma cutters, and then it has to be bent, so I have benders of all sorts, um, and I tend to do things kind of like the way they tell you not to do them, um, you know, because all my curves are not like perfect circles. I want them to be sort of warped, so I, I do it the wrong way. Um, but it seems to work for me.